Uh, what's up, people? In this video, we are going to watch this one. I don't know what this is. Well, actually, <laughs> like it matters. All right, we'll watch this one. Don't know what it is. Let's take a look. Keto meal plan. McDonald's. Ally McWowie. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's take a trip to McDonald's to find out what you can eat on a keto slash a ketogenic diet. Honestly, I think that like if basically if I see any YouTubers who have McDonald's in their videos and they're over hundred thousand subscribers, I'm thinking it's paid placement. I'm I haven't even seen this, but like paid placement, McDonald's. Oh, I should I should not judge until I watch the video, right? That's what that's what mature people do. Um, okay, so if you guys have any other recommendations um, or suggestions or videos or whatever, let me know. Leave me a comment. So sometimes you're keto and you're in a pinch, Lala. Okay, folks, I mentioned this idea in my last video that I did last week about how you can be keto and lose weight eating at McDonald's. So if you've ever seen that movie Super Size Me, they really kind of demonize McDonald's, but in my opinion, McDonald's is like an American tradition. I mean, it's like the American version of Tim Hortons, the American version of European football. We love McDonald's, it's part of us. You know, it's somewhere where if we go to a town, we know what we can get, it's comforting to always go there. And I'm not just trying to like, you know, glorify McDonald's today. Although, hey, McDonald's, Elliot Plague, stream heat, you're here for a prolonged amount of time today just for you. But what I'm saying is sometimes you're in a pinch and you need fast food, maybe you're traveling, maybe you're stuck in the airport, who knows, but you're hungry and on the road or you just can't cook or get something um, that might be a little bit better health wise so you gotta eat a McDonald's sometimes anyways today we are going to get um, just different items off the menu some burgers some breakfast items some salad um, we'll see what happens maybe some chicken um, and we're gonna keep it keto and keep it so that you're at a calorie deficit so that you can lose weight it's definitely possible and today's more of a proof of concept than anything I'm not saying you should eat a McDonald's all the time I'm just saying it's possible hi there um, can I please get an egg McMuffin but without the muffin part and then I also need a um, bacon, egg, and cheese, McGriddle, but without the McGriddle part. And then I also need um, one Big Mac without the bun and without the Big Mac sauce. And then can I get the bacon ranch grilled chicken salad? Ranch, please. And then can I also please get a quarter pounder with cheese without the bun and without ketchup? And then also an artisan grilled chicken sandwich without the roll and without the herb sauce. And then um, also a Southwest gr grilled chicken salad. And then finally, one iced latte with no milk or anything. Um. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so I know this video is like how to eat keto at McDonald's, but like, and, and I know she ordered, I'm, I think she ordered all this food so she could like display it on a table and be like, you can eat this chicken sandwich with no bun because all it is is chicken. Or you can have a Big Mac with no sauce. All it is is lettuce and meat patties or something. Um, I think I, like, I think that's where this is going. Obviously paid placement. Um, you know, make your money, do your thing. Like message from the past to future McDonald's executives who might watch this video, like call me, I'm flexible. Right, I, I say all these things about fast food, but like I'm, I'm flexible. You know, just we'll, we'll, let's talk, right? We'll negotiate. Um, that's it. <laughs> uh, this is like saying like how to, I don't know, how to like, how to do something that you would never want to do ever. Like how how to do something inefficiently that is like sh should be like your tenth choice of ever deciding to do in the first place, right? Like how to eat keto. Like, I guess what she said, like, okay, let's say you're stuck at the airport and you don't have like, whatever, I don't know. You have to eat something because you're getting on a plane. You have a 10 hour flight. And you don't want to eat the food on the plane. So you go to McDonald's because that's all there is. Like, what can you eat? Um, and I guess her channel is about keto or something, I guess. I hate keto anyway. Like I, this video just I, rubs me the wrong way in so many ways. Like I hate keto. I don't think it's for athletes. Like no offense. I've yet to meet a single athlete who's not fucking juicing that does keto and, and claims that they have any sort of performance increase. That's number one, I've tried it maybe three or four times. Never been able to get past day three. Always like want to kill somebody. Um, headache and then like I want to eat carbs like it's just fun to eat carbs like I don't know what to tell you um, yeah like why 
why would you do this? I, I guess the only possible reason you would do this is like the actually the airport reason. You're at the airport, you have a flight coming up and you want to eat something and you there's like nowhere else that you can go or McDonald's is the cheapest and you have a long flight and you don't want to eat on the plane. Like if that specific situation occurs, I, I guess this could be a good idea, but Oh God! Um, you know what I would have liked to see, um, Ali McMuffin, <laughs> or whatever your name is, um, would be a video. Let's say you're a keto person. Let's say you could do a video like, um, you know, if you're going to like fall out of ketosis from eating McDonald's, here's how you should do it, and then eat a fucking normal meal at McDonald's, right? Like I, I don't know. I know you're trying to be creative, and they probably paid you fucking ten thousand dollars for this shit, but like, uh, I don't know. All right, McDonald's meal plan for weight loss. It's good SEO right there. Um, yeah, all right, fucking. Oh, okay, then an Americano. That was awkward. It's hot. It's also muggy. Muggier than the coffee cup section in the souvenir shop. I ordered so much, I had to pull to like the parked drive through area. Anyway, so Allie kind of messed up already. So I was going to get an iced latte, and I said without the milk, but she said that it already comes with the milk. So I guess they can't, you know, just make it without it, which is fine. So I said, okay, then I'll take an Americano, but I forgot to mention iced, and it's too hot for hot coffee right now. My car says it's about 91 degrees. So that's okay. Um, maybe I'll just put it on some ice later and let it cool off. But I asked the lady at the drive-thru um, if their salads like come boxed and pre-made. And she said that really it's just the lettuce that's uh, pre-packaged and everything. But then they add the chicken. And she also said that then they add on like the tortillas and the corn for the Southwest. So that to me sounds like you can get that salad without all of the non-keto foods on there. I just figured that since it's fast food, they would just come boxed with everything. And then they just add maybe the chicken on top. But um, from what I can tell, uh, it's not like that. So you can get it definitely keto friendly. Although I will say that the dressing for that seemed not keto friendly. So um, we'll We'll see what happens. I pulled out the pay and she started reading off like, you're the one with the, the Amy McMuffin and the salads. I'm like, yeah, all the weird stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Okie doke folks. I just got back and we're gonna run through all the food that we have today. The salads are steaming up because the chicken is actually warm, which is good. I thought it was just like a prepackaged cold salad. But, um, so nope, they actually add all the hot stuff when it's ordered. Okay, so here is our uncovered food and actually it doesn't look too great. Um, so I'm gonna try and spruce it up. So you're welcome McDonald's, Ali's trying to help you out here. Although I will say that the salads actually look really, really good and they smell good too. Okay, so let's take an overview now of our food that looks a little bit better. <laughs> so over here, we have the Egg McMuffin without the muffin, our bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle without the McGriddle. This is our artisanal grilled chicken sandwich. This seems to be the quarter pounder with cheese or avec fromage, if you fancy. This baby, oh man, I could just smell it when I was trying to put it together more nicely. Um, it smells like a Big Mac, and you know that smell. It doesn't even have the Big Mac sauce, but you know what it smells like. This is our Southwest grilled chicken salad with the Southwest dressing, and this is the bacon ranch grilled chicken salad with, and I got ranch dressing because that's what the name says. And then of course we have our Americano coffee. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why, what, the person who asked me to watch this, why do they ask me to watch this video? I, I, I think that sometimes when it's not, when it's not clear, um, like, you know who this, this appeals to? And as, as like, as dumb as I think this is, right? I have to understand, this is gonna, I'm gonna sound like a fucking, uh, like elitist, like egotistical person here, but most people are, are really stupid and not smart and they will actually like try and probably do something like this. Like I, I'm picturing in my head, who's going to do this, right? Somebody who's and no offense, blah, 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 but like some fucking like 300 something pound person who's like, well, I don't have a lot of money and I'm doing the ketosis because that's what Dr. Phil said to do on his show. So I'll just go to McDonald's. They have meat and cheese on the Big Mac, you know, like, we'll actually do this, like, it looks so gross, oh my god, and if I was McDonald's, I would never hire this girl again for anything, like, it's almost like they told her to make it look disgusting, right, like, crazy thought, right, crazy thought, you know, oh my god, like, the sausage McMuffin without the thing, it was basically, like, melted cheese on a piece of, like, lunch meat and like maybe the the sausage thing was like underneath Ugh, gross um like get more creative like fucking make some you're, you're at home right like cook some eggs mix that shit in there or something right i know it's not the point in this video but like why would anybody do this um yeah i, I don't know how to eat keto at mcdonald's I w i'm wondering if this was like her idea it must have been her idea this was like approved by some like McDonald's executives. Listen, McDonald's, when you hire me for my McDonald's video that I do for you in the future, I'm going to do one that's like way more interesting than this. No offense, um, Ali McWowie, but like, 
I, I know you're trying to work with what you got, right? Like keto at McDonald's, it's not an easy thing to do. Like, you know, it's, I guess it's too much work to like go to the supermarket and like buy the bag of lettuce and open it at home <laughs> as opposed to like going to McDonald's, having them open the bag of lettuce for you and like pour it into the fucking bowl. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. So again, this is really just a video about proof of concept. So what I want to do is just kind of run you through a day or two's worth of meals using just McDonald's to kind of show you how making smart decisions, even when you're in a pinch and you have to eat fast food, can really be good for your health. And that it's possible to lose weight even if you don't have access to higher end foods. Now there is one advantage to eating fast food over maybe a more traditional sit down type of restaurant or maybe not a chain restaurant, is that you can actually look up a lot of the nutritional info online. And so maybe, you know, like your favorite bistro won't have that information, but generally big food chains will have that information freely available. And so that makes it a lot easier to plan out what you're going to eat before you eat it. So we're going to look at two days worth of meal plans. We've got breakfast, lunch, and dinner for two whole days. So I'm just going to get my hands dirty. So we start with the egg McMuffin. Without the McMuffin, this is what it looks like. You've got your folded egg, and I believe that that said that it contained milk in the folded egg. You've got a little layer of cheese, and then your ham on the bottom. So if you wanted to start your day with a little egg McMuffin without the McMuffin, um, you'd be looking at about, <laughs> so I have my notes here, 160 calories, 11 grams of fat, 3 grams of carbs, and 12 grams of protein. So not a bad start to your day. So this is an Americano. You can add stevia, or if you bring it home, you can add some sugar-free syrups to it, whatever you like. So day one's lunch is going to be the artisanal chicken sandwich without the roll. And this actually looks pretty good. Like, I'm kind of hungry. It's about 4.45 and I should be cooking my own food. So I'm going to actually take a bite of this. But you got lettuce, you got some tomato, and you got a hunk of grilled chicken. So with the bun and the sauce, you'd be looking at 380 calories, 6 grams of fat, 44 grams of carbs, and 36 grams of protein. But when you take off the bun and the herb sauce, it's 140 calories, 2 grams of fat, 2 grams of carbs, and 29 grams of protein. So you can actually have two of these. Oh, it's like hard to watch. Um, but you know what I was thinking as I was watching this? Because like, okay, so, so as I'm watching this, I'm, you know, the point I made earlier, which is that like, the people who who would watch like I'm, I honestly I don't know will people watch this and think this is a good idea and actually go do it right I, statistically speaking probably right if enough people watch this there's gonna be some fucking idiots who like think this is actually a good idea and will go do it and think they'll lose weight I, I guess it's possible right but like you know you can cut your arm off too like to lose weight right um, but I was thinking I was like wow like there's actually people who would believe this that was my first thought and then I was thinking like why why wouldn't they look for a better solution and then my next thought was like well maybe it never occurs to them that a better solution exists and then i was thinking to myself i was like well how do i know that they're like how did i discover that there's a better easier faster more efficient solution and then i was thinking well you know i read the warrior diet and like i experimented and blah 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 and like i found snake diet guy and like i i guess realized that my exposure to this, to, to newer, to different information was totally random. It was completely by chance, right? Like if I hadn't been in that bookstore with my mom when I was 19, if we'd gone to fucking do anything else, like anywhere else, if like every single event in my life had not led up to me like pulling that book out of the bookshelf, if any event in the past had like been a little bit different and somehow like it changed all of the future events, I wouldn't know any of this stuff probably. <clears throat> and my, my life would be totally different and I wouldn't be sitting here watching this and talking about it like I know more than this person. Or, I, again, I know this paid placement, she's making money, it's not like, it's entertainment. Um, but then it was, at the point is that like, if you're exposed, if you're lucky enough to be exposed to the right information, then that's it. That, that's all it is. It's just luck, you know? I, I guess a little bit of like, free will and that you have to number one like be receptive to it um and number two act on it but if you're never exposed to it in the first place like i don't think people out there will just like one day get the idea they've never heard of fasting they don't know about intermittent fasting they don't know about any of this shit like they'll just be like oh well, actually i'm not going to eat for three days i think that might be good you know nobody thinks that you have to be presented with the information and be open to it and try it right but if I like found a book by the equivalent of this girl in the store, if, like that was the book I pulled out and I was like, oh, you know, whatever. Anyway. These things if you really wanna do. Making some noises over here. <laughs> So then day one's dinner. You can have a lovely Big Mac without the bun or the Big Mac sauce. If you do get the bun and the Big Mac sauce, you're looking at 46 grams of carbs. And it just, it really smells like a Big Mac. I think it's the pickles. I don't know, but it's that smell. You know what it is when you smell a Big Mac. So without the bun and without the Big Mac sauce, it's 240 calories, 16 grams of fat, five grams of carbs, four grams of net carbs, thanks to the lettuce, and 18 grams of protein. Now, I will say I look for desserts on McDonald's menu. So for these days, you're probably not gonna find a dessert that's keto friendly at McDonald's. The closest thing I saw was the yogurt parfait. And even if you cut out the fruit and the granola, you would still eat the yogurt, which I believe came out to about 30 grams of carbs so that would just totally not work. So 
so sorry. You'll have to make your own keto-friendly version of your favorite sweet treat. So again, we're proving a concept here. So if you ate your Egg McMuffin without the muffin, your original chicken sandwich without the bread or the sauce, and your Big Mac without the bread or the sauce, your entire day's worth of calories will come out to 540 for the day, 29 grams of fat, 10 grams of net carbs, that ain't bad, and 59 grams of protein. So that's day one, let's look at day two. So again, you've got your Americano, which has basically nothing, so I'm not even counting it. Whoops, I think this is the folded egg, so I don't know what's on the Egg McMuffin. So this is your folded egg that has milk in it. But this is a bacon egg cheese biscuit without the biscuit. So just as the name suggests, you got your bacon, your egg, and your cheese, yum yum. And I actually, I love to order this. It's a little cold right now, and I've got my hands all over it, but that's one of my favorite things to get for breakfast if I'm in a pinch. So for your bacon, egg, and cheese, the griddle, without the McGriddle, it comes out to 310 calories, 26 grams of fat, four grams of carbs, and 15 grams of protein. So then maybe it's time for lunch. So you say, you know what, I really want some beef. So you order your quarter pounder with cheese. Now again, you're gonna wanna order that without the bun, and you wanna watch out for ketchup. Ketchup is basically tomato candy. It's just sugar, but you can't add mustard. That's one of my favorite condiments, is mustard. Now normally a quarter pounder comes out to 540 calories and 42 grams of carbs, but without the bun and without the ketchup, it's gonna be about 340 calories, 25 grams of fat, three grams of net carbs, and 25 grams of protein. Now you'll notice that for day two's dinner, we've actually got two salads here. So just remember that just because it's a salad, that oh my God. <laughs> Why did you tell me to watch this? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess you know what's crazy is that there's actually people who will watch this and they'll be like, oh my God, that only has 600 calories, that whole meal. That's healthy, you know? Wow, I didn't know I could be healthy. And then they'll like go and try it, probably feel like shit. Like what even is this food? No offense, McDonald's, like still like, you know. Um, and I, I can't really like be too elitist and be like, well, you know, somebody's dumb enough to like believe this shit and try it and get a shitty result then they're just not like they're not on the level you know what I mean um but that could be me you know it could have been me if I wasn't exposed to the right stuff at a young age like I I'm so lucky you know I'm lucky for a lot of reasons fuck man now that I think about it like lucky enough to be like born in America lucky enough to like honestly I think it's I'm very it's very lucky I'm very lucky that I was born Jewish like no offense to like other people out there but I'm I'm very happy that like I lucked out and like I, I get that like patch on my arm oh wow that's actually about probably a bad thing to say anyway you know what I mean like I get that um merit badge is, is like what I meant not patch on the arm all right bad joke right, well unintentional anyway whatever I didn't mean it like that um yeah just very lucky in general like and look, I'm not, I'm not saying I've never had a Big Mac. Like, when did I have McDonald's? I had, you know, have that shit, like, I don't know, occasionally. Like, I, had, I went to, like, McDonald's and Burger King, like, I don't know, four or five times at the beginning of last month, right? Because I didn't have my ATM card. I had to use my credit card everywhere. I couldn't, like, I didn't have any cash, basically. So I had to go to fucking McDonald's and Burger King. Um, you know, and I ate it. It wasn't, like, I, I didn't, like, feel amazing afterwards. It wasn't so bad. Burger King, I think, has like stepped up their game and much better than McDonald's, in my opinion. Um, and honestly, okay, the salads don't look too bad. Like, how can you like make a bad salad? But, and I guess the salad's probably like a cost-effective thing to order at McDonald's because like, what is this like lettuce, bacon, you know, cheese probably isn't great, but like beans, chicken. This is like actual food, you know? What is the, like? What is this cheese? Like, what is this cheese made of? It's like processed as shit. In the meat, you know, the meat's not bad per se. It's just like mass-produced meat. You know, it's not fucking all like like well-done patties. Just terrible. McDonald's. If you ever come out with like a premium sandwich, like hit me up. I'll try that shit. Like you know, or I don't know what else could I try. McDonald's. I don't know. McDonald's like last resort type of food. Basically, like what she said. Anyway, it's fucking finished. But it doesn't always mean that it's healthy. Fruit fly, fruit fly. Or keto approved. I'm not going to sit here and say things that are keto aren't healthy. You know, I don't judge. But so this is the Southwest grilled chicken salad. As you might be able to see here, we've got corn and we've got tortilla crisps. So unless you order it without that and with a different sauce, you might hit a really high carb limit. Now, when I was looking at salads to research this video, um, I noticed that the dressing wasn't included with the bacon ranch grilled chicken salad. So I'm not sure if the sweeter sauce for the Southwest chicken salad is included in those carb counts as well. I don't think it is because on the back of the sauce packet for the Southwest dressing, it gives you totally um, different nutrient facts. So one package of the Southwest dressing comes out to 120 calories, 8 grams of fat, 11 grams of carbs, and 1 gram of protein. So that's a pretty high carb sauce right there. So if you're keto, the Southwest salad may not be your best choice. Although it does look good, I'm not gonna lie. I like the lime that they got going on over there. But for day two's dinner, you decided to go super duper keto. So you got the bacon ranch grilled chicken salad. Now I know that this range packet was not included in the total calories and nutrition info. So don't forget to add in things that aren't there. So for this packet, it's about 140 calories, 11 grams of fat, 8 grams of carbs, ooh, 1 gram of dietary fiber though, so 7 grams of net carbs, and then 1 gram of protein. So that's actually a very carby dressing. Wow. See, they're focusing on calories because it's a lot of dressing here. They're focusing on calories, so then they added in sugar, I bet. Yeah, because that's not a lot of fat for ranch. Ranch is basically all fat. 
Interesting, things that you learn. Okay, so anyway, maybe you'll want to use your own ranch and not the Newman's from McDonald's. Just a thought. So just the salad on its own comes out to 320 calories, 14 grams of fat, 5 grams of net carbs, and 42 grams of protein. So you might have noticed that day two's foods were actually a little bit more caloric and slightly more carby. They still come out really, really well. So total calories, 1,110, 76 grams of fat, 22 grams of net carbs, and 83 grams of protein. So again, not a bad day. So folks, like I said, the main point of this video is to prove that you can eat healthy even if you're in a pinch or maybe you don't have access to the best foods. Losing weight is all about the choices that you need and want to make for yourself. Remember that you're the only person that can make the changes that you want to see in your life. You can't depend on other people to do it for you. That's one of the main things I've learned and that's what I'm going to carry with me for the rest of my life. After all my weight loss and maintaining, that's the main thing that I've learned is that you've just got to depend on yourself. Sorry, cleaning up a little bit, shoving it out of the frame. So yeah, even if you eat all this and you're allowed maybe 1500 calories a day as your deficit calorie limit, then you can still snack around a little bit and maybe have a sweet treat that you make at home. So definitely possible and it's all about making healthier choices. Well folks, that's about it for today. I hope that you enjoyed I hate keto. I hate it. And like, okay, so so nothing against her. Um, she's doing well. She's got 100,000 something subscribers. I'm sure McDonald's reach out to her and they're like, pay you $10,000 to go do a video, do whatever you want, but like show us in a good light, say good things about us, you know, show us the video, like send us a proposal and then we'll sign off on it. And then when you do it, send us the video first and then we'll fucking send you your check, right? And like I said many times, I'm totally willing to sell out for money like don't get it twisted that I'm like you know talking to you like this with my 1601 subscribers currently like when, when I get big enough like I'm selling out I'm cashing my fucking checks like you guys are welcome to keep these videos and be like oh wow remember when he was authentic now he's just a sellout like I'm selling out okay um but I hate keto. Oh my God. Like, why do I hate it? Reason number one. And I realized that as I was watching this video, when you do keto, you're forced to track your macros, right? Which in, in my opinion, like, okay, well, when you do keto, you have to be like, well, I have to stay under, what is it? Like 50 grams of carbs a day or 20 grams or something. So naturally you're going to track how much of, uh, you know, protein, fat, carbs is in everything and how many calories and everything, which I think is really stupid. Number one, because it implies number one, that you're not like training that hard because if you're training very hard you're not going to count your fucking calories or your macros because you're fucking training hard to make up for that shit in the gym okay that's number one number two if you're counting your calories and your macros then like you're fucking eating food that has nutritional facts on the label and if you're eating food that has nutritional facts on the label like fucking fake ranch dressing and fucking all of this shit well i guess these are like quote unquote natural foods um a steak doesn't have a fucking nutritional label. Fucking potato doesn't have a nutritional label. You know what I mean? Fucking vegetables, fruits, that shit doesn't come with the fucking, you don't buy your apple and have the like little nutritional label on the app on the apple. Okay. You can eat that shit without having to worry about how much fucking protein, carbs, and fat is in it, right? When you stuff yourself on meat, which is what I recommend, you can eat as much as you want without feeling guilty because that's like, that's, that's what your body, that's what you should be eating. That's like your natural food as a human being doesn't require and if you're training and you're eating one meal a day like if you do those three things it's hard to put on weight like i said this video did i say it in i think the last trisha paytas video that i did where she weighed her she was like 212 pounds or something i i basically like stay around 180 i'm six foot uh almost six foot one um i i, I can't like if i if you told me okay gain five pounds i i don't know like how i would do it honestly gain five pounds of muscle I mean, how would I do that? And the reason I say that is because every night I fucking eat until I cannot eat another bite. I don't count my calories. I don't like stop before I'm full and like go to bed hungry. I never go to bed hungry. If anything, I go to bed so full my fucking stomach hurts, okay? Why? Because I stuff myself on meat and if I'm if, like, I want a little snack afterwards, I'll go get some fucking ice cream, which I do pretty much every night. Um, you know, I'm not like starving myself. Like sometimes I go to bed, I said it already, my stomach's so full, like I can't like, I need to like get, I need to like roll up a towel and like put it under my stomach. So my like, the, my like full stomach doesn't like pull down and like hurt me. That's how full I am, four or five nights a week. That's how I go to bed. Um, and if I can't like get, I can't like crack 181 like that, like what else do I have to do? I just have to eat more frequently throughout the day. I think that's the answer, right? Um, so yeah, anyway, like keto people out there who are thinking, trying to lose weight, like uh, m my prescription is the same for everyone. Like you're a fat, like wannabe keto person who's trying to lose weight, the quote unquote easy way. That's why you're looking to ketosis because like it's this like magic thing that will like help you burn fat. Or you're like an anorexic girl or you're like an old man trying to build muscle or like a young man trying to build muscle. Like my prescription is the same for everyone except 
a professional bodybuilder, physique competitor, okay? Eat once a day, or like an extremely high level athlete who needs to eat more, but that's not you. Eat once a day, stuff yourself on meat, and work out, that's it. I was like, what's the third one? Um, all right, is there more of this? Off the video. I'm gonna package this back up. The really, the only things I really touched were those. Um, I'm gonna leave the rest of this for the hustle and the If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, I like how she's not even gonna eat the food. Yeah, McDonald's, you just wasted $10,000 with this. Like, who's actually, I'm, I'm curious what the comments are. Finally, someone, oh God. McDonald's is not always bad. Who's this fucking fake person? Two McDoubles, no bun. Oh my God, wow, these people are actually serious. Realistic and not judgy, judgmental. I'm so happy you followed through. Please, Ali, could you do a series out of this? These people are never going to make it. Wow. Oh, who's this? Oh my god, this is a real person, huh? Oh, well, yeah, it doesn't look like it's working for you. Um, okay. Yeah, anyway, thank you for telling me to watch this video, I guess. It was... Um, informative. Uh, if you guys have any other recommendations for videos or YouTubers, let me know. Leave me a comment. Peace.